And now, the Norristown Area School District, in cooperation with the Pennsylvania Council of the Arts and the Norristown Area School District Gifted Program, would like to bring you a poetry workshop with Frank McWilkin as guest writer. Good morning, everyone. You want to say hello to me? <laughs> as if you have not seen me before? All right, let's review a little bit now. This is my fourth week with you. We've written two kinds of poems, okay? The first kind of poem was, we speak with something, okay? We speak with something that doesn't speak. What did you speak to in your first poem? A rocking chair. You spoke to a rocking chair? You spoke to a rocking chair? What did you speak to? A watch. A watch. What did you speak to? I didn't speak to anything. I didn't feel the feel one. Oh, I see. Okay, you did the feel one. Okay, this week we want to work on the second poem, which, I, which I've read, you know. We want to work on the second poem. We want to make the second draft of the second poem, and then we want to have a poetry reading. Now, remember what I said about poetry. Poetry can be published in two ways. You can publish it in a book, a magazine, or you can read it. And so today we'll read it. Now, what I've done is I've looked at your poems, and I've corrected them as I corrected the first ones. Remember what I said about writing. After you write something the first time, the work then really begins. Okay? After you've written it the first time, you're never satisfied with something you write once. So my corrections are the same as the other poems. Some words, some people are using a lot too many words. Let me show you this. Ah. Lisa, where are you? Look. See all those words I've crossed out? Huh? Lisa's using too many words. The rule in poetry is if you don't need a word, don't use it. So I want Lisa to cut out all those words. So if I do that, that means leave a word out, okay? Your rhythms will be better if you leave the word out. Now, someone else here Rick. Look at Rick. He's written his poem like a composition. What's poetry written in? Poetry is written in stanzas and lines. Lines. So when I want Rick to start a new line, and, and most of you like this, I simply put that there. Okay? That means stop the line with this word, go back to the margin and start a new line. That's how poetry is written. Okay, and then someone said stanzas. When I want you to start a new stanza, I put that in. Okay? So we start a new stanza. So now, I've marked up here number one. What's the, what's the draft today going to be, naturally? Two. Two, and some people will go to draft number three. Okay? And then after we finish the draft of the second poem, then we'll have our poetry reading. Okay, then we'll have the poetry reading and you'll read, most of you will be able to read two poems. And that will be good. All right? So let me pass these papers back and let's get to work with the second uh, reading. Rick, Lisa, where Russo, Ricky. Uh, okay, some stanzas, some lines, and you need a good title. Remember about your title. Your title should be like the title of a movie. It should be really attractive. It should make the person say, I want to read it. Don't use a one word title like tree. You know, give the tree some feeling, okay? What about uh, S went, ends? Okay. This is not what I asked for. What did I ask for in this poem? You're taking a whole season here. I just wanted like, you know, like five minutes of observation. See, you know, you, you're talking about the changing of the seasons. 
and I didn't know I didn't know what to do. Could, uh, let me see your first poem. I'll come around and help you with your first poem because I think you're going to only be able to read one poem. Remember what I said? I wanted you to sit outside for about five, ten minutes and describe what you saw. Well, this poem talks about winter turning into spring, and I'm sure you did not sit outside for two seasons. See what I mean? See, what, what I wanted to do is the observation with the senses. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you smell? What do you touch? That's what I wanted. So you got that a little bit mixed up, but I'll help you with your first poem. Karen? All right, you've got some nice lines in here. Missy? Okay, a couple of lines, a couple of lines here I want out, but most of it is, is good, Missy. Dory? Mm-hmm. Okay, now watch. I want trees up there to complete the line. I want the around up there to complete the line. I want the cracked up there. Now let's, let's divide it into stanzas, okay? And we need a good title. Try to think of a good title. Incidentally, put the title up the top of the page and put your name after the poem. That's the way we do it. Fred? All right, Fred, look. You've got sun, sun, light, light. You see that, everyone? In a short poem like this. Now, this is a short poem. What is it? Six lines. Let's leave a stanza here, Fred. In a short poem like this, you cannot repeat important words close to each other. It doesn't sound good. And remember what I said about a poem. A poem is not what's on the page, it's what sounds in your ear. So Fred has light, light, sun, sun. He has to change those words, right? Can't have those words. Okay. Kristen? Ha ha, wait a minute. Look at Kristen. Look at her work. Line upon line. I've cut out about seven lines that she does not need. The poem will be better without these lines. I act as editor, okay? Let me see. Okay, this will be better. And Kristen, try to write a little darker for me so I can understand it better. Okay? All right. Let me, um, let me go through and let me help you with these poems now. Don't you have something to write on? Let's get you something to write on. Don't you have something to write on? Um, Fred, let me have my briefcase, please, over there. And let's get people something to write on. But you must give me these folders back. You need something to write on. Okay, thank you. Okay, who needs something to write on? Okay, you write on this folder. That'll, that's at least something. You write on this folder. Because who else? Okay, you write on this folder. It'll be at least something more than you have. Who else? Okay. How about if you write on this magazine? Anyone else? Okay. Okay, let me see what happens now with these poems. Some of you might go to three drafts today. Remember, up the top of the page, write draft two. This is the professional way to do it. Okay. Okay, that would not be a bad title. My bedroom window, okay? <laughs> You're gonna have a time with this. You're gonna have a time with that. All those words, trust me, just leave those words out. It'll be a lot shorter, but it'll be a lot stronger. Let's see. Wait a second. Which is the one that you did this with? This is wonderful. Let's see. Night time, much to much to what? Much to see, yet beautiful. The sky, the moon smiling. I smile back, the stars shoot cold outside, the gentle wind whistles. 
through the trees. All right. <laughs> Look at the difference, everyone. Look at the difference here. How many words did I cut out? Look, huh? Huh? How many words? This is the first draft, this is the second draft. See, the important thing is poetry is you use the best words, the strongest words, and only the important words. Way too many words here, but this is good. This is a good draft. Let's divide it into stanzas. Nighttime, much to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's see the stanza again. Okay, all right, all right. Let's have a third stand. A third. We've got maybe about five more minutes to complete this. Let's see. All right, you want to read this one? You want to have two poems read? All right. What were you doing when you, when you saw this? Where were you? Outside. Okay, can you, what kind of outside? Okay, backyard, that's a good word, backyard. That's a good word for a title. What about the backyard? How about the backyard watches the leaves? See that? Now see, that's clever. The backyard watches the leaves. It's impossible. And that's why it's poetic. The backyard watches the leaves. How about that? Who else? Okay. Let me see. This is two? Third? Okay. All right. Okay, finished. Put your name. Ricky, how do we do? You should have had a fresh sheet of paper here. What a wonderful child. See how I read it to myself? Why? So I can hear it. Squirrels and Jesus. Okay, let's have two stanzas here. Let's have two stanzas. This is this is beautiful ending. Beautiful, beautiful ending. How are we doing? You all right? Let's see. I wish you'd mark your draft so I know. Okay. This is this is, this is what you want in front of you. I think we should start our poetry reading in about three minutes. Okay. Is is that okay with everyone? About three minutes. We all ready? Okay. I'll take a look. Good, John. Good. Okay. Let's see. Need a title? Um, how do the sneakers feel? How do the sneakers feel? If you were this pair of sneakers, how would you feel? Used. Sneakers. Used. Sneakers. Used. Battered. Battered. Why would battered be a good member? You, you, battered. Huh? Yeah. Um, what, is that, what is that syndrome now? Battered children's syndrome or something like that? Abused and... Battered. Sneakers. Battered. Abused. Um, uh, the sneakers feel battered. An abused pair of sneakers. Come up, I want to show you something. We could do this, watch. Sneakers. Colon. 
Okay. Abused and battered. Something like that? But you have to have the cord. Okay. All right? Okay. Uh, why is to cry on that line? You didn't have that in the other draft. See, that two cry is, is, is misplaced. Two, two words are out of place. Diamonds, you know, the S. Okay. But the, the, uh, you won't be able to make a new draft. H how's your draft going? You don't have that many corrections. I think you could read from the type page. Right? I didn't make many corrections in yours, did I? Okay, because I want to start the poetry reading. Okay, shall we start? Oh, let me see. Sure. You, you, you have two of them, right? <coughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right. Now let me show them this. Let me show them this. Yeah, okay, hold, hold this, watch. Okay, I want to show you Lisa's poem again. In fact, I want to show you all the drafts. Watch. Draft number one, with all the words on it. Draft number two, she cut all the words out. And then draft number three, she divided it into stanzas. Now watch how the poem comes alive. This is the third draft. You see? Can you see? Can you see? What a difference, huh? It's like the Charles Atlas picture. Is that before and after? Huh? Look at the before, look at the after. Look at this, huh? This is why I say the first time you write something is just the beginning. Look at that. Does that look good? Now, the perfect way to see it would be typed. Okay, that's a perfect way we'd see. And we are going to make, oh, listen, I don't know if I told you, but we are going to make a book of your poems up. We are going to make a book up. And I won't make the choices, but Mrs. Silverman will make the choices. So you will see your poems in a book. Okay. Really good work, Lisa. Really good work. How is this mic for you? How is this mic? Think this is okay? Think this is okay? How's the size here? We can lift it up, we can lift it down. Okay, what did I tell you about the poetry reading now? You come up, you do not stand like a soldier, but you just stand comfortably. And you make that eye contact. Make that eye contact. Look at your audience. I mean, you're reading to this audience. So you know, just look at your audience and then read. Every word must come out. Every word in the poem is important. Because you've really worked hard on these poems, okay? Read. Do not read quickly, because I'll tell you. I'll tell you if you're reading too quickly. Don't rush through it. Read it like you would read music. Every note is important. Okay? Okay, how about if I call the first person, and then the first person can call the next person? And we'll do it like that. Okay? If you have two poems to read, let's hear both poems. Where shall I sit? I shall sit there. Eh? I'm going to sit in the audience. 